And for this video, I will be going into how I was able to pass the FE exam on my first try. I am currently a senior at Louisiana State University studying civil engineering, and I passed the FE civil exam this past January. So for this video, I will be going into how I did that. So let's get this video started. So I'm gonna go into my experience preparing for the exam. So after New Year's, I made it a goal to past the FE and so I had two more weeks until the spring semester was going to start so I used that two weeks to study for the exam because I knew if I waited till the spring semester I was going to be bombarded by tests and homework and senior design and push aside studying for the FE and so I dedicated those two weeks to just studying like I spent the entire day studying and I definitely and highly recommend that you pass your FE exam while you are in college or right after you graduate because after that, the longer you wait to take the FE exam, the harder it is it's going to pass because all the stuff that you use during your engineering college years and what you learned, you might not be using it when you go into your full-time position. So definitely use your time during college to pass the FE. So what did I use to study? I used the FE Civil Review Guide, which came with like 800 problems. It was definitely an older version, but it did the job. And so basically I definitely recommend investing in a PDF version of a workbook or review guide so you can split screen with the handbook that they will give you on the test. And it really prepares you for a computer-based exam because they're not gonna give you a workbook or review guide. Everything is gonna be on the computer. And then I did all of my scratch work in a notebook and would correct in a red pen just to make sure that I was catching mistakes and was able to go back and and kind of see what mistakes I made and not make them again. And then I definitely highly recommend getting yourself a custom with the handbook that they're going to give you. So this handbook kind of has everything that any person will need taking the FE exam. If you're going to take the chemical, mechanical, or electrical FE exam, everything's going to be in there. So be careful with the stuff you need to know because as a civil engineer, I'm not gonna be tested on circuits or some things that a chemical engineer needs to know. So be accustomed to what sections pertain to you and what you really need to know. With any exam, you really have to go into it with a strategy. And so my strategy was to focus on my strengths and my personal strengths were hydrology and water resources and geotech and statics and just classes that I enjoyed and understood the most. And I really didn't focus much on dynamics or structural engineering because those things came harder to me and so I wanted to focus more on my strengths than my weaknesses. Overall, I just focused on the basics of basics when it came to dynamics and structural engineering, not more of the harder complex topics. But overall, the FE exam is just going to ask you the fundamentals of these topics because they're not gonna give you the hardest problems ever. They're just gonna give you problems that test your understanding on the subject. So now let's talk about which calculator I use on the exam. So as an engineering student, you probably have a buku amount of calculators. The TI-84 Plus is too good. This cannot be used on the exam. It is pretty great, but it has too many functions that will help you out too much. And then that leaves you with the TI-36X Pro and the TI-30X. Um, the TI-30X is probably the most basic of the calculators. You can use this, but I didn't. And so I use the TI-36X Pro. Uh, this calculator is great. It does the quadratic formula. It does matrices. It does so many things and you just need to 
be able to do that stuff if you want to use it i definitely recommend it i wish i had this calculator earlier because it also does integrals and derivatives so definitely recommend this one but if you don't want to pay an extra twenty dollars to get this one then the ti 30x is fine now let's talk about the day of the exam i'm gonna link some videos from ncs in the description that kind of go into detail of what you can expect from test day the environment how it's going to be so definitely watch those videos because it gives you an idea because this is going to be your first time doing this type of thing on the day of the exam don't forget your handy dandy calculator because without this it'll be so much harder and then a form of id like a driver's license and then a copy of your ncs letter printed or just on your phone so you're gonna lock everything in a locker you're gonna keep the key and you're gonna go inside the exam room they're gonna check your sleeves your bag just to make sure you're not cheating because they take the stuff like super seriously and the length of the exam of all the fe exams is six hours long but that's including tutorials and the break but you have five hours and 20 minutes to actually take the test so that's roughly three minutes per question for this 110 question exam and something else to be aware of is that the exam is broken up into two sections. The first section is 55 questions and the last section is 55 questions. And so you get to delegate how much time you spend on each section. So you want to split up your time evenly so you're able to complete the exam. So just be aware of that and not spend too much time on the first section of the test. And so once you finish the first 55 questions, the exam will prompt you on whether or not you want to take a 30 minute break. And you do want to take that 30 minute break because it enables you to take a breather, kind of relax. I really thought I did not do well on the first part of the exam, but after I took that break and kind of readjusted how I was going to go into the second part, eat a little snack, go outside, I was able to get on my phone. I don't know if that's the case for each testing center, but I was able to kind of get my stuff and walk outside, eat a sandwich. So I definitely recommend taking that 30 minute break. And then you go back in and you take the rest of the exam, which is 55 questions. And all of your scratch work is going to be on laminated paper. So they give you an Excavo marker. You're able to erase it. If you run out of pages, they'll give you more. And after the exam, you will feel brain dead. I felt exhausted and I felt like I had to retake it. But a week later, I got my results and I had the little green rectangle that said, you passed. And if you pass, you get a green signifier, and then if you didn't pass, you get a red failed rectangle and kind of results of what you need to work on. It doesn't really give you details on how many questions you got right or wrong. It just gives you this kind of bar graph of what areas you need to focus on. So that is the end of this video. If I forgot to mention anything or if you have specific questions, leave them in the comments. But with that, I will catch you guys later. Good luck on your FE exam and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.